Welcome back guys. Today we're going to continue with the emergency email server series and I wanted to show you how you would post replies that might come back into the system. Before we get started, uh, go down and click the subscribe button so you can see the future videos that come out in this series and also a thumbs up or maybe a comment that helps us out in the rankings on YouTube. So anyway, what you're looking at is the control panel for the emergency email server that I built. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is uh, launch the WinLink inbox. And you'll see here that we have a reply to an email that was sent from the system from w4rpw at arrl.net. So we'll click on that first. That opens uh, the email up. Back at the control panel, we're going to click post a reply. So now we can jump back and forth between the two tabs since both of them are open. We're going to copy who the email is from and paste it in the first box. Then we're going to copy the body of the email and paste it into the second box. Last thing to do is click post reply. It gives us a confirmation screen that tells us that our reply has been posted. And that's the end of it from the operator side. Of course, you could click post reply and go again if you had multiple messages coming back in. Now, for the end user, when they came back, this is the screen that they would see. So instead of sending a new email this time, they want to check and see if they've got a reply. So they would simply click search for replies and enter the email address of the person that they're expecting a reply from and click the search button. That would bring them to this screen and if there was multiple emails, obviously there would be uh, multiple listings here. But it gives them one link that they can click on since there's only one reply. They can click on it and it will open up and show them the entire message, both what they originally sent as well as the reply that they got. So it's a little bit clunky having to copy and paste back and forth, but it does get the job done. Uh, we might try to improve this a little bit uh, in the future with maybe an MTA on the Linux box. Uh, but for the time being, it does get the job done. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Next time, maybe we'll go through uh, how we can get some information over RF out of the system. Or uh, maybe we'll show how to send a text message. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you on the next one.